Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design and it's the social media blog hop. And here is the cute set I'm using today. It's the Retirement Life. And I'll be using that cute couple and that sentiment there, the retirement. And here is the card base. And I used the banner dies from Data Blossom and also the 4th of July um, stamp set. The card base I cut on my Cricut and that's from uh, Lori Withlock. It's the French door easel card base. And I'm just going to dress up just a little bit my inside with just a little strip of polka dot paper to match the rest of the card. I used only a six by six piece of paper to dress it up. So it's nice, 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 nice. Um, so I'm just going to glue that panel inside just like that. Just like so. And I did see that they had a, like, um, barcode on the side there. I'm not going to worry about it. Here is a little um, squares that they have on the file. So it cuts purple, perfect little square there. So just to dress up the side. And the paper I use is from my favorite things, that blue one. Here's the front and there's a panel to go on top. And Yes, I wasn't sure what to do with this cute little image, so I thought this would be cute. And here's the other layers here, and that just goes directly on the top, and it match up, matches with the bottom part. As you can see, there's a little piece sticking out there, brown, so it's easy to line up. First time making this kind of card, and yeah, I like that. It looks cute. It'll be nice to for somebody to put it on a, a dresser or something because it's easy when you open it up. It stands up pretty nice. So here is the background. That'd be fun, like for happy retirement to have like a party, like celebrating their retirement. So there I just popped at the little couple and I'm going to put some streamers, some banners on top. I had these all glue, um, cut out before, they just weren't the right color so I just took the same uh, markers that I, I'm using on this set. So just an easy fix so I don't have to cut some new ones, right? So I'm just gluing that down and using my new favorite glue. Oh, I just love that glue. For little things like that, you just, you know, hold it down for a second and it stays. It's pretty good. So I'm just putting my other one down. So I'm kind of draping them like close to one edge and then kind of separating them so it kind of fills up a little bit more that way and I'm putting the blue one on top of both of them going the opposite way yeah those are fun little banners I use them all the time love those and I have one more to put down so all the information also will be on my blog as always sometimes it works on here but if not here is the link up here you can pause and just take the the information and go check it out and I'm just trimming off the extra little bits that are sticking out from the banners just like so there it is I think 
it looks pretty fun. So I'm going to show you how it folds and there's little creases there or little cutouts so then it sits perfectly in there. Just looks like a little easel. Super fun. I think it's pretty cool. So here I'm just going to start coloring those little characters and they're so super cute. And I'm going to start with all the skin color and I always start with the E00, E13 and also bring in the E11. And just start blending. So hope you enjoyed all the preview days that we had for you all and uh, that you join us for our hop today. It's going to be a fun one. And uh, yeah. And the stamps are available today in the store at CC Design if you're interested in this one or the other one that was showcased on Wednesday. So I'm just blending my skin color. And as always, I always bring some pencil in. And yes, we started our pool. There was a big pause there. <laughs> we started our pool. We had to take it apart and start over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's not done yet. There's no water in it. We're starting to put water in it today. So cross our fingers, all good. Yeah. So excited for that to, to be finished, I think. Yes. Yeah. Fun, fun, I'm telling you. It's fun. You know, if I was rich, I would have paid to get get that installed because yeah it was a lot of work a lot of work my poor husband yeah now I'm starting the hair and I tried to put the number but it just was so blurry so I just took that part off it's the same as the one I used in um, Wednesday's uh, post or video so if you do go look back it's the same any kind of gray would work also. So I'm just blending a little bit of gray and I'll, and I do the same with this one. I just do it with pencil. There's no markers um, with her hair or his hair. I just did it with just pencil. So now I'm just putting a little bit of black just to darken up a little bit. Oh. It's almost done. Just gonna bring in a little bit more, I think. Yeah. No. Oh, a little bit more. So now I'm doing his eyebrows, his little mustache, and his hair. Yeah, probably got a lot more gray hairs doing this too. <laughs> the pool. Ah, uh, it's going to be nice when it's done. That's all I, you know, that's the end goal. Goal, I should say. Um, yeah, when it's done, it's going to be nice. So now I'm just putting a little bit of white in there just to do some highlights here and there and then his glasses on one spot and I'm bringing some pink for his cheeks both both of theirs cheeks and blending that in just like so and some brown around I don't know if I showed it it's usually the same brown if you are new to my blog maybe um to my videos I usually show them all but I think I did not show the pencils 
but it's usually the same one so if I you did see it's the same colors that I use so now I'm just blending those I use my camsole and nib just in case you're not sure and here I start bringing some browns for her shirt and his sweater too oh, I guess it's her sweater inside so the E 42 43 and 44 I had the wrong side of the marker and blend it in with the lighter shade. And I do her purse the same color also. And finish it off. In her sh shoes so she's matchy matchy right right and now I'm gonna start his sweater I think oh I take the the colorist blender there because I did pass a little bit just cuz I'm gonna be using just a uh, gray marker there for that part it, so it looks like it's like white so that's why I had to do that so his sweater is going to be the same color as hers see now I'm just bringing the same gray that I used for her hair onto this part. And then I'm gonna blend just a little bit because you still want to look like it's white. Just have some shading on there. there now that is for the two for all the brown here so I used a darker shade because I did my video last week or last week oh my goodness today um, on Wednesday and I had two different shade of browns so that's the darker shade of brown on her purse and here is the R27 and I'll also use the R29 to deepen it up a bit my hot mess marker and then I'm going to blend it in with the 27 again and now I'm going to do the jeans with the B93 and the 97 that's what I have right there 
and a 95 to, to blend those two together. Maybe go a little further with the 95. And I'm trying to do her, je her jeans a little lighter because I'm going to be doing his jeans also the same colors, but I'll do his a little darker so then there's difference. I'm going to start with the 93 also. Just the base. that and I use the 95 and drag it out a little bit more like I say I want his jeans to be a lot darker so contrast right and just finish off with the 93 So this video is a little longer also as like I said when you have um, image with two characters it just takes a little longer to color and there is the YG 63 and I got the B, um, B C5 so YG 63 again for the sweater and I have to say it runs out and I do not have a refill for this one as you will see it won't start blending so I had to finish it off with the 67 also so I did I tried to do my best here so I kind of had a hot mess going on but it worked out okay like I'm not like totally happy with it like you'll see it just won't blend anymore so I just had to do it a little darker than what I wanted it to be so I did bring another marker also in a bit so here I got the 67 going I didn't know what else to do I just had to go with it because that's the last part on my image to to be colored so I was not gonna throw it out I was trying to fix it as best I could so here's the YG 97 and I did that also on my other one did some highlights here so it, there's a little difference in colors and yeah okay it's just not perfect then I went and did that I should have did that I didn't think it looked good after but anyways <laughs> it happens sometimes you don't like exactly how it turns out but like I said I wasn't gonna start over my image for that it's like I said it's it's fine fine so I have the black pencil here and I'm doing some shading anyways I do put some black on his sweater I did also do that on the other one so and I did the same thing I'm going with it like I said it's okay and blending that So I'm going to have to order some refill for that color because I do like that color, the 63. So now I'm burning some 
of the black pencil also on the jeans to do some um, shading also there. So when you go and check out the new stamp set in the CC Design store, there is a clearance section. If you didn't see that yet, go check it out. There's lots of um, cool stamps on sale and a coordinating die to go with them. Just saying, you might want to check that out and get a couple of the older sets on sale. So here I'm just blending, helping it to blend all around and yeah, I hope you join us in our hop today. There's always some cool prizes to win. Here I got some green, darker green, just to darken up my uh, shoes and a little bit of gray for the zipper. And here is my fun image all colored up. Too cute. Here it is with the card. I'm gonna show you again the cute stamp set that's available today. I find the one with the little purse and the glasses on the bottom, like the blacklist. It looks like her, I find it does. So here's my card again, and I'm just folding it just to show you the easel look. Like I said, it's fun to try a different style of base. Hope you like my card and I'll see you soon, bye.